up everyone thanks for coming by today's video and today we're doing a little tutorial and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at Fillmore Pro and how I bring in the letter boxes or those black bars into my scene so when I'm doing my real estate or any type of b-roll for the vlog it kind of draws in the attention of the viewer really brings in that cinematic look and uh, a lot of your top youtubers do this it's not anything I invented uh, but I just like the way it kind of really focuses the eye onto a certain aspect of the video so uh, if you have Filmora Pro great if not you can look for it in the links uh, below it is a new program from the people over at Wondershare I've used their first editor because it was super simple the regular basic Filmora which I think is Filmora 9 now and um, for me, I just needed something with a real short learning curve. I couldn't get into the big ones. I've tried um, HitFilm Express. That one's actually fairly easy once you watch some of the other videos on YouTube. Uh, but I'm very just familiar with the Filmora platform. This is a little different from their other one. And I guess it's very similar. It looks a little similar to me as the layout for HitFilm Express. But um, I think like right now it's like 100 bucks. You get everything with it, lifetime updates. I like it so far, and um, let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Filmora. So this is your uh, timeline down here, your trim video, your viewer, um, stuff I'll get into later. You have your tabs here, but we're going to go to the Media tab. We want to go to Import Media, and let's see here. I need to go to my clips, and we're just going to take a clip here of beer being poured. So you just you can drag it in or you can just hit open to import it and then once it's imported you're just going to drag it over to your timeline and uh, if you go down here these little mountains are you can make the timeline bigger or shorter like kind of zoom in make it a little easier to work with so what we want to do is we want to bring in the black bars so what we're going to do is we're going to go over into the effects and type in the letter and you'll see letter box come up so you just want to take that drag it right over to your timeline and now the bars are there but what I don't want is just a clip you know a jump cut into something like this or a video where you're going from one room to the other and a video walkthrough and all of a sudden there's black bars so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on letterbox first thing we want to do is aspect ratio we want to change that to custom width and height so if you go here with the width you can change see how you can change it right there so you can bring it in, you can bring it down. So you want to get that as close to where the beginning is as possible. So let's just say right there. And you can do the same thing with the height. So what you want to do is bring it to the beginning of the video. So say we're going to play the video and right about there it starts to like pour, starts to freeze. So we're just going to do something very simple right here where it says width. We're just going to click on that. It's going to make a keynote, I think is what they call these things, um, yeah, a keyframe keyframe I don't know why I'm calling it keynote but a keyframe right there and then what you want to do is you want to bring it forward let's say right about here for a little bit and you just want to click on the little slider bar here and bring it to where you want that black lines to be depending on your thickness now you'll see right here it makes another uh, keynote why do I am is that the right term yeah, keyframe. I don't know why I keep calling it a keynote. In my world's a keynote. The real technical term is a keyframe. So what happens when you play this video back and uh, you hit play, it's going to look like that. Now, that's pretty basic. And then you just reverse the process to um, make it where, let me just put my cell phone on silent here, um, to make it um, reverse so you come into the frame where the black boxes come in or your um, letter boxes and then you can reverse the process where it'll then make them go from being on screen to off screen and that's pretty much how you do it it's pretty simple um, it's really not much to it it's no fancy tricks and that's just how it works and then you just hit play and as it's going through your video it fades in softly and then again you can have it fade out and then that'll be through the rest of the film or for that clip it'll have those bars unless you put in another keyframe and change it so that's it guys it's a short video it's pretty easy to do uh, let me know what features you like about the new Filmora Pro or the Filmora 9 let me know if you'd like to see any other type of uh, tutorials like this and again guys please like and subscribe 
you can like and subscribe the Bowman vlog or you can go on to Aaron Bowman realtor page um, it's more that's more real estate related stuff this one here is kind of our family vlog and tutorials and stuff like this for video making but uh, hope that helps you guys um, you know there's a lot you can do with uh, the keyframes so I'm doing another video shortly on um, the audio because you can do the audio fade and stuff like that so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video